We gotta get some feet started. Good. Yeah, I know. It's great to see everybody here tonight. My name is uh, Stephen Taylor. I'm the executive director for Circle of Fun. This wonderful organization is moving and making things happen. So we're looking forward to transforming our world, particularly those with disabilities. We have three major pillars that we are trying to solve and move forward with in the disability community. The first thing is socialization. We want our young adults to be able to get out in the community and socialize. socialize. The second thing we are doing is supportive employment. And the reason we have supportive employment is we want them to have an opportunity to have a job that pays a fair wage. That's why we started the coffee shop. And the third and biggest goal we have is supportive long-term intergenerational housing. One of our young adults is a, all of our young adults are awesome individuals. One of our young adults has been expressing a desire to try some new thing, to try something different, to try to plan a bandwidth, what you can do. And we've been giving her that opportunity. And when we first came to the door, we had this feeling that they didn't think they could do it. But we're giving them the opportunity to expand and show what they can do, and their gifts and talents to keep them expanding. And in particular, person that has been shining with joy, peace, and love. And it's just been awesome to see them grow. So, awesome growth, trying to reach all of our members. So, please join me in prayer. Gracious loving God, you know in the world we live today, joy, peace, and love, difficult to find. We're grateful you have provided us with faith that is safe and we can experience it in real time right here. We're grateful you've given us the opportunity to serve all of our young adults in this community. We are so grateful you honored us and presented us with a path to give our young adults a chance to share their gifts and talents. And what joy it has been to see all of them grow and the impact we already have. And we've already been open minds. But if we're coming with you guys, it's all for us, the Lord is ready. We are so ready to move forward and do whatever it is you want us to do. So I ask that you bless this meeting. I have to bless all those that are online, all those who are in this room, as we hear the good news that's been going on, which takes place with Soko Fun, that we can further in our journey. And thank you for this time. And do your thing quick. Amen. Amen. At this time, I would like to turn it over to Diane Keene, she's co founder of Soko Fun. I'm sure she has a few things she wants to say. So I think. Um, do you have any announcements? Do you have any announcements for them? No, I, I kind of, we have, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to, so we could make that announcement. Probably at the end. Probably at the end, because we'll pass up. So Joanne, do you want to do the um, social engagement report? Because our announcements all fall under our kids. <laughs> so um, I'm Joanne Salamone, and I'm the social chair for Circle of Friends. And we've had a pretty busy month and a lot to be excited about. We started our first parent group. Uh, we, we had a second meeting this week. Right now we're meeting every other Wednesday. And as we grow a little bit, we'll, we'll try to incorporate maybe some night meetings for with people that work during the day. So they can be on board. Our meeting, we determined that the three things the parent group are going to work on would be education for the parents, adult social time, as well as increasing the activities for the young adults in our group. We, our next meeting, if anybody would like to come, is April 14th. We'll be at the circuit here in the conference room at 9 o'clock. And then on April 28th, we will have a speaker to let us know more about the now and the company. And that will be at 9 o'clock as well. And that will be on the 28th. And I'll be sending all the dates out. Nothing is out on the calendar yet, so um, 
our next, we have a social that's uh, the third Thursday of every month, and that's always a part of our meetings. And our next one on April 15th will be here at the circuit, and it will be a game night. So we'll have various games set up for the young adults to play. The parents can come as well, and there'll be things for them to do as well. Um, two big things, we do have a space in the community garden, and we will probably start to have some meetings next week. Otherwise, we'll be planting fall vegetables instead of summer vegetables. And I will need volunteers to help with the garden, as well as the young adults. If anybody has any contacts or donations of plants or gardening material, uh, please reach out to me, and uh, I, I will send out um, a meeting for that. We're also working to start a Bible study, and that will probably be on Monday, about 4 to 5.30, and we'll just, it's probably will be here, but we'll let you know on that. Um, let's see, what else? Some of the things we talked about, oh, oh, we also have a walking club, and we met last Saturday for the first time. The weather was not great, so we had three families, but we're gonna continue, and the next one will be April, 17, and it's our donut I know we're trying to be healthy, but we're going to walk the trail in downtown Woodstock. We're going to meet at the dog park, walk to 92, which comes right out conveniently by Dunkin' Donuts, have breakfast together, and walk back. So, that's it. So,
but now they have got it. So thanks to Jackie, our uh, manager, everybody. <laughs> As to, I can't really point out one person except for Jackie and Julie, I could point out. And Jonathan from Allen Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you see everything. Jonathan, thank you. Yeah, Jonathan came when our coffee pot, like, we forgot to do something and coffee was all over. And so he was a big help. Yeah. Okay, so the coffee shop is really, it's running beautifully. Our young adults and the volunteers and Jackie, they can do anything right now. So we're going to add a few items. And we would really like to add some more customers. So we're still in the red, which our financial person may talk about at the end. We want to be self-sustaining, but that is our goal, so that we can replicate this elsewhere. Because we only employ 13 young adults, and I think we could employ many, many more. And so um, we want to replicate this in other areas. So in order to do that, we have to be financially feasible be um, self-sustaining and we'll get there with the help of volunteers and donations and customers so please come and on uh, we need we really need traffic on Mondays and Tuesdays but any day if we come we'll be good so um, if you know it's a, a good thing for us is that you have a group that you know that meets and you're a part of a group that meets uh, to have them come to this space um, we find that when those groups come here, we've got some groups and the sales go up. Yes. And it's very nice. And it's a great place to meet, very comfortable. People love that. So if we can try to get people on our calendar to come in like that, these groups, and meet on a regular basis, that would be awesome. That would be really awesome. Like we have the young adult professional support stock. They were coming to the circuit before we started serving coffee, but they come every Thursday morning. And our Thursdays are really good days. So if we could have every day, like a Thursday, financially, it would, then we would bring in more people too. We wouldn't just need maybe, some shifts we only have one employee, and two, Jackie and one young adult. So we would then need more. So that's one way that the community can help us. Even, even the, uh, we notice, because we get, we, we see the sales every day, so we know like yesterday when we got the, uh, Parents and support group. Parent support group here. Yeah. Our sales were up. <laughs> they were up very nice. And I don't know if it was all the moms or if it was other people from Woodstock, but it was really it was our highest Wednesday so far. So that's really good. Yes. I don't know if Kelly's going to talk about this, but get out there and like us and give us some bigger news on Yelp. You know, that's another thing. People, you know, to do that. The other thing is to share the word with people that a lot of folks think that we have to park out front. We've got a lot of nice parking out back that's easily accessible. It's a lot easier easier to get to in this back door than it is the front door. There's only a few steps. We're, we're talking like four steps down, and there's plenty of parking out back. So let people know that you park out back. That's that's the most convenient place to park here is out back to come into this space. And if you use a wheelchair, we do have an accessible, it's not easy, but um, there's a door, second door, along this hallway that goes this way. We figured it out, didn't we? Yeah. You come in that door and then come down the hallway a little bit, and then there's a ramp that will lower the wheelchair down to get the rest of the way in. So just know that it is accessible, not easily accessible, but it is accessible. So um, the coffee shop really is going really good. They're making every drink on the menu. A month ago, we were just serving coffee, just brewed coffee, because we didn't know how to make everything. But now they can do it all. and some new recipes. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to say that you guys know for this. Uh, but today, somebody came in and they saw Kelly's website and they were like, oh, uh, you know, we were just driving by, we're out of town, and we were just coming through, um, you know, Google, oh. and we saw the coffee shop. Nice. And we're like, oh, okay. So we drove in, they came through the front door. Oh, nice. And they're, and they're like, so what is this place? And so it's like, it's our little French coffee shop. And so we had even people from out of town, like they were, they were coming from Pickens. So I'm not sure if they can hear that, but what Hayden said was somebody was driving by and was looking for a place to get a drink on Google and found us because Kelly had a wonderful man did our um, virtual tour and he put us on Google. So like one said, like us and whatever, do a review on Yelp and also do that on Google. And that is thanks to Kelly and her finding this really generous man who 
Adam Bellinger, Adam Bellinger, really very nice man. He did this incredible um, 360 degree virtual tour. Okay, so uh, a little bit of good news, I think exciting news, um, because I'm in academia. I'm very interested in bringing students to work with our young adults. And so uh, Malin, who is our secretary and I, have met with um, the director of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program, OTA program, at Chet Tech in um, Canton, and then two professors from Grinnell University, and they have a doctorate of occupational therapy. And so their students, their doctoral students, and the uh, students at the OTA program are going to work together, and they're going to be here throughout the summer on Thursdays. And um, they're going to be doing some learning that they, they will be doing learning. They're not going to be in the coffee shop because there's not room. I mean, unless we need some help for a certain employee that might need some additional skills training. But they're going to be here um, learning about our young adults and then working with our young adults out here. So that's a great opportunity for all of us to bring in some um, some young professionals who are going to want to work with our population once they experience the love here. So that's exciting to start in June on Thursdays. Um, and they're going to be here, I don't know the day, but they're going to bring about, I'll tell you early on, but we're going to have um, kind of an orientation where we'll have about probably 35 people. Um, and then we'll only have three or four people every week. So it's good. That's exciting. Um, and then to talk about the volunteer night, that was last Wednesday, and it was here, and we had more people than we have tonight. And these were mostly new people. Some, it was volunteer appreciation slash interest night. And um, Julie had a form where people could check off what they were good at. We got some people who have skills that we need, because um, we are growing so fast, and, and we don't know everything. And sometimes we don't know what we don't know, and we've got to learn. So we are, this week we're working on NEON, a client relationship system that you're going to help us with next week. So he's offered, thank you for that, but we're not even ready to work with him yet. So we're using it for donations and um, some financial stuff, but it can manage our volunteers. And so we've got to get that in because it's, we, we are really creating a web that is uh, amazing. So we've got to keep track of all the people. And if, if speaking of that, I will just say, if anyone has emailed us and we haven't responded, we apologize. I will tell you that we manage multiple email. Uh, like I have my KSU email, I have my circle of friends email, I have my home email, I have, and so it's a lot. And so if we've missed you, please send it again because it doesn't mean we don't want to talk to you. It just means like we're we're at our limit right now, which is why the um, volunteer skills are so important because we need some. Additional talent. Um, so I'm really thrilled to hear you're going to have a speaker on the now and comp waiver. That's awesome. So see, um, I didn't even know that you had that. So it's fantastic because Joanne has taken over the social committee and she's really doing a beautiful job and, and making a lot of good things happen. So I'm thrilled that you've got that. That's good. Um, I'm glad we're going to have the game night. Okay, so one other thing on the academic side, you may not know, you probably don't know, but um, there's a student from KSU in um, the architecture department, and she is a really good student. Um, she is doing her thesis work on a housing community, and she chose, um, I told her we might have some trouble building at the ballroom property because of some restrictions and sewage, sewer line and all of that. So she chose the property in Hickory Flat, and she's designing a community on 20 acres. I'm not sure who owns it. I think we need to introduce ourselves and see if they want to donate it. But she's picked 20 acres that are for sale in Hickory Flat, and she's designing um, an intergenerational community there. And I've seen her work so far, and it is really fantastic. So she's presenting it at a symposium next week or the week after. And then I'd love to invite her here to present to you all because it is truly amazing. I am so impressed with what she's doing and her thoughts. She's looked through um, ways that she can create sensory 
um, activities in the environment for people who either um, are too, they don't like sensory stimulation or for those who need more. And so she's thinking about really details that, because it's a school project and she's an excellent student, so it's really good. So um, it could be something that we will use, or it may be something that we'll use pieces of, we'll see. But it's really, it's going to be awesome. Um, then, supportive housing. So I have zero minutes, but I'm going to take at least two. Um, I am ready to get started with the committee of people who are interested in supportive housing. That was our goal when we first started looking at, before we knew the name Circle of Friends, that was given to us by Lauren Farrell, by the way, I have to give her credit. She is the person who, because we're thinking of, you know, um, total integration, inclusion, we're not, nobody's left out, we're all in a circle. Um, so, the supportive housing, we, I'm ready to get them. So, if somebody has expertise in um, architecture, engineering, design, um, funding, I really need help with the long-term, the, um, either long-term loans or tax credits. Those types of things, low interest loans for USDA loans, that kind of stuff. If that is your thing, please find me. Because um, I'm a nurse and and I have a tremendous passion, but I do not have all the knowledge. And so what I know is that our young adults are lonely and I'm done with that. I think we're all done with that. That's why we're here. So we're going to make a difference in this community by creating a space where they're comfortable and they're welcome and people can know them and they're safe. And so um, this has done that. This is really amazing. And then hopefully, not hopefully, our community will be like that, our housing community, for not only our young adults, but typical peers and older adults too. That would include me. Older adults are people 50 and older. So really, it's like every, it's all of us. So. Um, that's all the time I have. I have zero minutes. Can you scroll up? <laughs> yeah, I can never do zero minutes. <laughs> so I think now is Kelly. Hello, everybody, Kelly. Thank you. 
coffee shop? Where is a place that I can go and co-work, work from home? You know, people are always looking for suggestions. And um, even, even beyond people looking for suggestions, we can start our own threads. We can start a conversation to say, hey, do you know that at Circle of Friends Coffee, you know, we're doing this today or that today. There are lots and lots of groups that we can start discussions or just follow threads and make comments on. But it really is just so much that it's too much for one person to do all the time. So if anyone is ever interested in helping with, um, with social media, with Facebook, and, and doing social engagement, things like that, let me know. That would be awesome. Thank you. So one more thing to announce. We have a new campaign going in the coffee shop, and it's called Hashtag Brew It Forward. So instead of Pay It Forward, it's called Brew It Forward. And I'm going to show you on our bulletin board how it works. So we are going to, um, these are coffee sleeves. And I'm going to read, read to you how it works. So number one, purchase a drink or a food item for someone who might be having a bad day or a good day or just because. It doesn't really matter why you do it. Uh, we'll write your purchase down on a coffee sleeve. We can write it or you can write it after you buy it. And then you'll come and you'll put it on the bulletin board. So then if someone else comes in and they're reading the bulletin board, they can read it and they might think, oh, that pertains to me. I'm having a bad day. Um, or, you know, they can then take it off and they can redeem one at the coffee shop. So, for instance, this one says, small iced tea for someone with a disability. So, I bought these. So, you have to buy them and put them here for someone else. So, this says, large coffee for someone just released from quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Small latte for an awesome teacher. Oh. Coffee and a muffin for someone who kicked COVID's butt. <laughs> so you can put whatever you want to on the sleeve. You can say, I'm going to buy coffee for a policeman. I'm going to buy um, coffee for an awesome dad. I'm going to buy a muffin for a uh, mother that walks in with a stroller. Anybody you want, anyone that you want to put on the sleeve, you can do it. And you can either do a dollar amount, you could say, I'm going to buy $10 towards teachers. Or you can just say, I'm going to buy one coffee for this particular type of person. So it's really up to you. I mean, however you want to be creative with your kindness, it's up to you. But it's a way for you to be kind to other people, bless other people, and it's just really going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to leave this here and we're going to have it over there next to the coffee counter. And anytime that you want to buy a coffee and brew it forward, hashtag brew it forward, it's going to be here. So that's it.
And so that's it's one way that somebody can help. You really don't have to get off the couch. You can do it right from home, and it's a big, big, big help. So please think about that. Consider that, please. Okay, where's the agenda? The agenda? The agenda? The agenda? The agenda? Okay, fine. Treasurer's report. Mary and one. Okay. Do we have a report before? Yeah, we're going to do a couple of things. We'll just go. I'm just going to do this back a little bit, Kelly. I'm okay. sorry. Oh, sorry. Just so you can see what the lines show. Because, you know. <laughs> so this is just to give you an idea of what we are. This is the first quarter, and, and you know what we're looking at here up up top is just these are contributions that's come in from individuals, people who made donations. Um, that's this is outside the coffee shop. This is people who got equipment donated. That's included in this number up here where it says uh, business and contributions. Um, and so that 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 just give you an idea. We've got some money coming in, and then. We're just going to go through this. We're going to dive deeper into this than another meeting. But, uh, just operating expenses. You know, we have things that we're paying for. We've got, you know, insurance that we're paying for. We've got, you know, supplies just to run things that we're paying for. We've got all kinds of things that, you know, that, you know bank fees. We've got uh, Office 365 fees. We've got, you know, payroll for other stuff. Um, we've got our website fees. We've got all those kinds of things that we're paying for that we really, you know, are, are going out the door. Nobody's really, none of the volunteers, nobody's getting paid for any of this. So, you know, this is all going directly into trying to promote our three, our three silos of what we're doing. That's supportive employment, socialization, and supportive housing. And so these are the goals that we're trying to reach. Um, so take a look at the coffee shop. This is what, what we're doing here at the coffee shop right now. So this is, you know, we didn't start, it wasn't a full quarter of the coffee shop, so we didn't start until the middle of February. So these are sales right here where you can take a look at, you can on the screen, uh, yeah, coffee shop income up there. And then the, the number of supplies are probably up a little bit higher because, you know, start up, we have to get things started up and get some supplies and get some inventory and things going. So that's a little bit, you know, uh, more, the need for cost up a little bit compared to when they probably will be. But there's the numbers. You know, that's, that's a negative number. <laughs> so, you know, we need, we, need, we need people to come in. And we've got, the potential here is just amazing. You know, because this is such a cool space. This is in such a great place. It's such an, a, an area that people come to. So we just need to keep telling people about who we are and, and what we are. And everybody that comes in here is just blown away and is amazed and loves the place. Uh, but we all need to do our part to get people in so we can carry on the rest of the things that we want to do. Um, you know, some of the things I just want to make you aware of, we have our nice, we have gift cards. So if you need something, you know, come and buy a gift card. That's another way to, you know, draw people in you. We've got gift cards. Teacher Appreciation Weeks are coming up and end of, end of year teacher gifts. Oh, yes. Teachers love coffee. Oh, gift cards. And they, love, and they love our young adults. Yes. So that would be a great gift for your teachers. Every one of you here who's part of Circle of Friends needs a magnet on the back of their car so we know who you are. We have these beautiful magnets. You can make a $10 donation. You can put this on the back of your car and probably drive around letting you know, let people know who we are and what we do. So that's a, that's a great thing. So we have these available in business as well. A couple other things that are coming up that we're in the process of doing. So for the coffee shop, uh, we are, we've, we've joined uh, Grubhub and DoorDash. So that's going to be coming online, you know, relatively soon. We've got our online store that's starting to come up and running. Um, an idea of that. And the online store. Yes, speaking of Grubhub and DoorDash, this morning I got a call from a teacher saying uh, she, uh, again, saw us on the website, saw the number, called. Right here, it's, it's you know, it's 
cofinconline.org. And so we can get there once it's going to be happening here is that people will be able to do online orders for coffee. They're going to be able to go here and get a, 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 do a grub, a, you know, a more dash order. The other things that are coming online is that you know, we've got a text in order that's going to be part of this. So these are all things that we're going to be working in so somebody can make, we're trying to make it more convenient for somebody who says, I don't want to climb two flights of stairs, but I'll drive up to the side door so they can bring me a coffee. Um, we're going to have online ordering where you can sit and put the QR code right at these three tables right out here. And you'll be able to do the QR code, place an order, and one of our lovely workers here will bring you a nice fresh coffee or a latte. You don't even have to get up from your table. Um, you can come on here and... That's our crew. Aren't they awesome? I just That's okay. So you'll, you'll be able to come on here and I might pick it up or I'm ordering online tell me what it is. So these are things that we're doing to try and get people to come in and make it more convenient for people to be here in this space. And I'm going to say what Glenn said earlier is if you know of groups, book clubs, you know somebody to tutors, um, anything like that, Bible study groups, please invite them to try here for their activities. Um, we also, Jackie, don't we still have the to-go coffee thingies where we can take them to, someone can pick them up to take them to their meetings. So if you have a faculty meeting at, or a meeting and you can come in and get the coffee to go to bring it to your meeting. I think a principal from um, Freedom did that. Yes, he's yeah. the one that did that. Yeah. Nope. Not for the like conference room in the office. This kind of meeting with the space for the What is the Stephen, is there like a number of people that we would have to book the space for? Uh, for the ten? Yeah, if they had a group of like ten, yeah. could they just show up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right here. Yes. How about a group of thirty? A group of thirty would work. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, you could count them. You just would have to. Um, the you got one of your chair. You got one of your chair. Pay. Point as it long out as they're not an activity, you can come. That's so. That is the thing. Is that a, is that a, a, a number that's available? Stephen, could, could they contact you or who should contact they contact me? Contact yeah. Stephen. He's our liaison with the circuit people. Yeah. All right, so just, just so you know, we have to, to further that idea of you know, bringing the dollars and the door and donations and everything, we have so many ways that people can donate. You can go to our online store. You can donate right back there at the cash register. You can go to our website. We've got PayPal. We've got all these kinds of things. You can do it on Facebook. So all these kinds of things that make it nice to be for people to donate. So at the online store, we're going to have all of our merchandise available where we're going to be able to just go ahead and, and buy right from the online store. Um, all of our shirts, everything that we have is going to be available on the online store. So these are just things that are coming up that people will be you know, able to yeah, because we make, we make good money on the shirts and stuff like that. That really helps the cause, um, you know, things like that. So one, one, one thing about donations, too, that you can set up a recurring donation for a certain amount every month through our website or PayPal. Our website's probably better, so for that. But um, I do that because then I don't have to open. I'm like, oh, I got my notice that my monthly payment. Because I don't have to think about it. I don't have to plan. And I get it just comes straight and it goes right and it help. those monthly donations help with our overhead. That's or just our, our general overhead. And the that's that's the food, food on the table for us. Like, those monthly donations that come in consistent like that. That puts food on the table for us. That that pays our bills. We have a handful of people doing that. And um, it, it, it really is awesome to know that we've got that coming in. And Glenn, we so. have one of our, like David over here said that his employer matches. So some, some employers will match it when you do that. Yep. If you need it, if we've got a copy of the 501c3 letter, should be on the website that we can get. If you, if you need that, if an employer needs our, our, our letter, that's what you need. Um, I think I noticed that if you do $100 a month, you have access to that room so many hours a month, like four hours or something. Oh, that's for the, that's for the circuit. That's not us. So okay. for the, the circuit, if you... This space, the circuit rents like desks. So if you rent a desk, it's $100 a month for like these, these type of desks. And then you have access to the conference room. Okay. 
we have access to the conference room because we rent that. So we can make a reservation for the conference room if we have to have a meeting or something. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I was just wondering, like, if we say $100 a month, oh. if that would give access to the conference room, we could have it available for groups to come in, like if oh. you know somebody. Uh, we, so we, do, we don't have control over that. Gotcha. Yeah, but that, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, that would be really good. Um, so the other thing that happens with these additional things going on in the store is it, it provides work. You know, our young adults will be mailing these things out. And our young adults or a volunteer, we haven't determined yet, however it's going to be safe to take the coffee out to the cars. You know, we're, we're going to make sure everybody's safe. You know that. We'll be very careful. But um, that provides additional things to do and ways to um, enhance our young adult skills so that if they ever choose to, not that we want them to, but if they choose to go get employment elsewhere, they have additional skills. Not that we want anyone to go. We don't. We love them all. Yes. Yeah, and, and you know, with the support of employment, you know, I've been focusing on our, our coffee shop right now because we're getting that up and running and it's, it's, it's going well. But really now is the time to start doing things that we talk about the other ideas that we have. And we really need to get some volunteers on this committee to be able to do some exploring on other opportunities that we can do. We talked about digital printing, we talked about doggy daycare, we talked about a number of different things, recycling, different things that we can do to get our young adults involved in. Because not everybody is cut out to be a barista. You know, we need to help develop skills in other areas. And so we want to be able to provide other opportunities. So that's something that we really are we're looking for a couple of people that can kind of come into that support of employment, take a look at that, and help us develop some other areas that we can open up. We had a visitor from Carrie. Carrie, the Bodie, 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 so she's um, she does support an appointment. So hopefully we'll get her back with us. Anybody have any questions on finance, store, topics like that? Sorry. Fine. Yep. You were you're mentioning uh, bringing groups here. Is there any interest in groups outside of the 7.30 to 3.30 time? Like my wife, for example, does book clubs, but they do it in, on Wednesday evenings after work. They don't do it. So that's something for us to explore. We might be able, if we knew that somebody was coming in a specific time on a specific day, right. where we've, we're, in, we've, we're developing people now that can do the outside so our Jackie doesn't have to be here for every event, yeah. that that's something that somebody else could be here for. I think, look, we could talk about that in more detail. That would be okay. you know, something that we could do. This space is open until what, 7.30? 7.30 a.m. So, 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 so 7.30 p.m. So we know that people are coming. No, they open, no, I think they're open until 8.30 p.m. 8.30, they're open until here? We're only open until 7.30. 7.30. When does it close? When does it close? Depends. 7.30. Yeah. 8.30 for Google Cloud. 8.30 okay. usually? Okay. So yes, I mean, I, you know, that'd be something that we could definitely talk about. Yeah, um, yeah we, we could have have like a maybe to, to work mm -hmm. on that aspect. Yeah. Um, because I would also like the teacher appreciate like the teacher once a month thing so the teachers can come and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. So if we could get a commitment from a club like that that hey we're gonna meet here at this time, right. you know, once a month or every week or every other week or something. Right now they're doing the whole Zoom thing because you know yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. something we could definitely talk about. And the nice thing is that we bring another shift, and yeah. we have, you know, maybe three more, oh, three more shifts for young adults who are just wanting to work here, mm -hmm. who really want to work here. Yeah. 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 That would be great. All right, Charles.
and fundraising and stuff. So that has changed the game for us significantly. I have applied for grants to Walmart and Copy MC and multiple other entities like Rotary Club and the Kiwanis uh, Club in Cherokee County. But if anybody in here knows the store manager at Sam's Club, know his name or her name, please see me after me. I need their name. I need to apply for a win. You know? Good. Okay. Oh, Never mind. Thank you. 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 Thank and we've got several things in the pipeline that we are going to be working on. We are working on them. But I can tell you there are three things you need to be on the lookout for on our social media, uh, Facebook page and social media. The first thing, how many of you like cornhole? After people like playing cornhole? Oh, you, oh, okay, good, good, good. We are going to be having a cornhole fundraiser on the Elm Street Green in downtown Woodstock. That will be taking place on a Saturday, and just like it will be in June. We originally had talked about doing it in May, but Elm Street was trying to put on a lot of concerts on the green, and we didn't want to butt up against that. So I would, uh, tournament would bump into them, and it would be called uh, friction, so on and so forth. But we're going to push it to June, and it will be a 4 to 8 p.m. on a Saturday evening. And it will be paramount for you all, our community, to spread the word. Share it on your Facebook page. We need to sell paint tape. It will be by us. You will get details very, very soon. The second thing I want to work on in fundraising, you will see very soon. We're going to have a raffle, our first ever raffle. And we're going to raffle off custom made cornhole boards. Our friends at Solid Occupational Therapy are going to make the boards. So, very, very cool. So, that's why I do Nice, I love it. You knew something. Yay. But we're going to say, you have to give me a raffle. We'll do your details and work them out. And basically, the winner, five winners will receive a custom made uh, one hole board. We should have circle friends circle around the hole. Yeah. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Would you all go on this? Yes! <laughs> there you go. I like that. Yes. Right. The third thing we're working on that I think we'll be seeing very soon, we'd like to have a concert in downtown Woodstock. We're canceling everything around downtown Woodstock and it's our home base. The community has done so much support for what we're trying to do. And we need to get back. We need to be having our event around this area. The two places we can have the uh, concert would be either at Elm Street, they have, oh, they have a green, they have a stage, or the Woodstock Campus Theater. That changed significantly yesterday when Governor Kemp announced that he was relaxing the large gathering of 50 people or more. And that would go in effect on April 7th. So that, had, that changed that concert for a concert. And that concert was all to be used for the so called friends and the cost of but well, that's the three things you can see very immediately in the very next 15 days that come down the line. And we have to be for a few years. So thank you. And I will turn it over to my friend Mark. So I'm not as organized as the rest here. I'm just going to talk. But hopefully I can get you excited about some things that we're doing here. Uh, so I'm, I'm involved in... Um, Community engagement here for, for Circle of Friends. Hey, are you going to make me compete with you? Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let the helicopter fly over. Um, but, but really, I mean, everything that Glenn and Diane and Kelly and Stephen and uh, Barry you know, talked about, it's about our friends, right? The community, the place that we live and the place that we work, the place that we spend time with family, with friends, uh, with people that are in uh, similar occupations or have similar interests. Um, you know, just a quick note on some of the Facebook groups and things about spreading the word is we all have things we're interested in or that we'd like to do. Some people like to play cornhole, some people like to make calzones back there somewhere. 
Some people like to, uh, they spend time with their church groups, they spend time with their, their sports groups, or um, their art groups, their creative groups, etc. These are all little micro communities in our communities that we're all part of. Um, I've got a, a, a son that does some video animation work, and he has friends and things that do that there, right? Um, these are all people that we connect with that we can tell in person or through video or through other means about Circle of Friends as the mission and about that we're here. Because it's amazing to see what has already happened just with people hearing about on Google. Someone Googled and they showed up, right? Like, like the math worked, that's awesome. So we need to continue to expand our networks and think about the things you do in your life that people you connect with, that how can we bring them back to what we're doing in our mission and right now, the focal point of that is the coffee shop, is this facility. So anytime you have an opportunity to get out, or whether it's get coffee or just get together, um, just think about this opportunity to, to be here. Um, and even, you know, again, spreading that conversation even in some of the groups that you're part of, um, to share things. I think that that's going to go a long way. Um, part of my focus is engaging the community. And, and making some of the connections of what we're doing in the community. And so I haven't asked the people here and, and folks that are online if that is, you know, you, we think about some of the different key areas here that people are involved in the city of Woodstock, in Cherokee County, in the churches, uh, in the sports groups, in the, in the walking groups, in the garden groups, etc., uh, in the businesses. We want to connect with and understand what their goals and missions are and the people that are the leaders of those groups, the people that are the influencers of those groups. And we want to tell them about what we're doing, which is important, I think, as, as we talked about the giving back and, and, and you know, sort of passing it along. And what was the phrase? That to grow it forward. There's a lot that the community here has to offer our community around us. And so we need to be thinking about that. Is what are their goals? What are our church's goals? What are our school's goals? What are our groups that we belong with? Our, our, our Boy Scouts, our Girl Scouts, our, um, you know, our cooking groups, our, 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 uh, you know, the, the folks here in Woodstock, the businesses. And I think when we can better understand their goals and share how we can help them get there, I think we're going to be extremely successful. We've already had a lot of success with Alma Coffee as a huge partner. We're going to do more with that. We've had a lot of success with the city of Woodstock. Um, so our goal and what I'm aligned with and focused on is engaging the community in any way, shape, or form. So the ask is, if you have people in those respective groups or part of your community that you think we should connect with and find out what they're trying to do, come see me. And if you want to be part of helping to facilitate that, come see me because we're going to need some help with that as well. I, I've got a bunch of folks that said they're interested. Um, but that's a, it's an easy goal. It's, it's helping community around us do things more efficiently, more effectively, and be successful, and we've got a lot to offer there, and so let's find out more what others are doing and not reinvent the wheel, and let's see how we can uh, we can help them be successful, and we kind of all uh, really align with what we're doing with our mission here. So I'll, uh, I'll stop there, but um, you know, again, if you, if you know of people right now, I have some random goal in my mind that Tyler Perry's going to be drinking coffee and eating. In our coffee shop here, uh, in, in, uh, we are, we are, it's, it's, it's analogous there. We, we want people to really come in and learn about what we're doing and be part of it. So, uh, so I appreciate it and that's kind of what we do. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, the work set is so important, you know, by finding out what other people's goals are, I'm a firm believer that you become successful by helping other people meet their needs and become successful. And if we continue to do that, come alongside other folks to help them meet their goals, we're going to be successful. The other thing that Mark said that was important right now, the focus is that coffee shop right now, but it is such a great opportunity because we've got our pamphlets back there. It opens up the door for anybody to come in that we can talk about everything that we do. The socialization, the support for employment, and the support for affordable housing. It gives us an opportunity for everybody coming in that door. We never know who's coming in that door. And I can't tell you how many people just that come in and said, I really didn't realize this was such a need. We are educating the community in this. And, and again, there are some people that come in here that have very big influence and can really be a benefit of us as well. That's exactly how we got the drone to buy the videotape the grand opening with the drone and in here, the ribbon cutting. He walked in during soft open and just was blown away by the whole everything and offered that completely. 
free to support us. That's a prime example of what can happen in this space. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so one person walking the door. Have you guys thought, Mark, or anybody about uh, corporate sponsorship when you know people come in and you know so and so whatever local businesses are here and then you have a place to put their name? You know, we support Circle of Friends, Southern Sky Home, Kia, Woodstock. You know, like yeah, yeah. And I, I would say Stevie can speak to this too. I think is we have we have other fundraisers in the bank. For example, we're we're actively working on a, a 5K later in the year where. Absolutely, we're going to have partners that we want to align with that around that. There's, there's other things from that. And, you know, one of the things I would say is we talked about a lot of different um, ecosystems and groups here, but I think it's also important in that example too. Is aligning sponsors with what we're trying to do here on inclusion, on, on opportunity, uh, on, on education. Um, and so I think, you know, there's, there's several probably corporate sponsors as we talk to them about these events that we'll want to do. Um, I don't know if we'll be slapping their stickers on all our cars per se, but but absolutely. Um, and if you have experience and ideas around that, we'd love to talk to you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, Walmart's already been a corporate sponsor. Technically, I think that's a, yes. that's a great example. Of a lot of, they gave us some, some seed funding, I guess, right? They gave us a $5,000 grant yeah. a year ago. And, and, and I don't think they're listening right now, but when we have our 5K, I want to see if they can provide some bananas for the races. Yes. Right. Oh, yes. For sure. They will. They're good, they're good people. Yeah. yeah. But yes, all of us in this room know what the need is. We, you know, we experience it every day. So we definitely know what the need is. And, but it's about educating people, bringing them in, and getting those people to understand because there are people out there who really want to help. So. Does, is Melinda going to give a report? Uh, I don't know if we got this. We have her online. She's not so. Okay, so I'll. Uh, I know. Oh, okay, so. Uh, Glenn, who is our governance chair, I'm not sure what she has to say, but um, she's working on formalizing our board and formalizing some of our um, policies and procedures. And so she is really remarkable with that. Oh, I'm sorry. She is she is really remarkable with that. And so she's working hard on because I I mean I'm sure you can tell by tonight we're going to a different level. Like it is. Um, it, I don't want to, our slope, our curve is, is if you're a math person, I don't know what that's called, we saw it with COVID, we, I don't want to equate us to COVID, but we're going up steep, and um, we are. Well, uh, in a good way. In yes. a very good way. There's, <laughs> there's so much going on, and so many people we're talking to, and um, we want to make sure that we are doing things right, and Melin keeps us in line. She is very um, good with the details, very good with it. So she is our governance chair, and I'm not sure if she's going to ask for volunteers. She might have just been going to give a report, which I can't necessarily give, except that to say I, I, I trust her completely. So she's working on keeping us organized. And apparently we have a problem with the link. They're not, so I apologize. You guys are here, so our folks, they're going to get a video. Thanks to Michael Allred. So this young man, yes. So here they are. Michael, can I share how you bought your equipment? He bought his equipment to help circle of friends. And he's an employee here. So he's working for the foundation. took his stimulus money and bought equipment so that he could do this. And he has really sought out people in the circuit. We found somebody who is um, a videographer, like he's a professional, right? Cedric, yes. So Cedric has given Michael lots of feedback and tips. And so now Michael has, he's recording tonight. So those folks who can't see it online, they'll we'll see it through his recording. So this is going to be posted uh, on YouTube. It's going to be on YouTube. And then Kelly can connect it to Facebook. Connect to Facebook, and yeah. And can email it to the group. Yeah, so we're going to, uh, Michael will be able to post it on our YouTube channel. We, Circle of Friends has a YouTube channel. Michael posted. I'll link it to the Facebook and we can, we're gonna Michael and I talked about Michael had a really good idea. We can start our own little um, thing on our website where people can just go and watch all of our meetings on the website. Yeah. What so, you can do is link your YouTube channel to
to the website and link with coding, you can link it and show the videos on the uh, actual site itself. Okay. Yeah. So I could like point to every individual in this room and say how much each of you has really had a tremendous impact on, on all the activities of Circle of Friends. Every one of us. Every one. And that's why it's worth it. Because it's not just us up here. It's all of us. And we help that everybody needs to watch you. Yes! Because this kind of goes with some of that community engagement and how does our purpose align with their purpose. Last year at our past live meeting before COVID shut everything down, um, this wonderful girl, Jenna, young lady, she's not a girl, she's a girl baby, but to everyone else, she's a young lady. She and her sister Sarah have a soccer program, Top Soccer Alliance, um, and they have um, for, for two groups. They have four to 19 and 19 plus. And it is for um, any, it's the outreach program for soccer is what TOPS means, Top Soccer. And it's a training program for all athletes with intellectual, emotional, and or physical disabilities. The program strives to provide soccer opportunities for players to develop at their own pace in a safe, fun, and supportive, inclusive environment. She did a wonderful presentation, and we were all so excited, and then, you know, everything shut down. So she reached out luckily last night and I was I had just been thinking about it because the weather was nice and I was driving home like oh, I wonder if we should reach back out to them and she reached out couldn't be here tonight but dropped off flyers so I'm going to leave them on the table there as you're leaving if you want to ask questions to any of us please do but also the flyers will be there in addition to the flyers for the two different age groups, they also have a flyer for volunteers needed. So they are also looking for volunteers to help them with the soccer program. So if you have any interest in that, or you have um, a young adult at home without any um, disabilities or challenges who would love to be involved, please reach out to them because they do a great job. They're, they're wonderful. So. Who wants to play soccer? Who, who wants to learn more about soccer? Raise your hand. Patrick, raise your yes. hand. Yes. I, I do not. I think they do. <laughs> what is the uh, YouTube? What is the name of the YouTube? Is it Circle of Friends? It is. It's Circle of Friends. Let me look at the But I'm looking right now and I just don't see. It is. Hey, do you want to play soccer this year? You're going to learn soccer, right? Soccer. <laughs> She's just talking about soccer. Team. Team. I love soccer. Do you want to play on the soccer team? I can't kick a ball. Oh, hey, it. hey, hey this it. isn't really. This is a learning. We're going to teach you stuff. Is slide tackle available? No. Oh, two more things. Sorry. Yeah. One is uh, on top soccer. My my oldest played when he was younger. Um, it was a great program, and then my youngest uh, doesn't have people with disabilities or special needs. It actually was a catapult for him to get into soccer to play with his older brother, and he's had an awesome experience. And my oldest played. So it's a great program. A lot of different clubs support it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, be happy to talk about my personal experience. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome. Um, in line with that as well, and something I didn't mention explicitly is that. One of the things that I think is important too is there is a lot of people in our community, special needs, disability community, et cetera, that are doing some phenomenal things, whether it is supportive employment, whether it is um, some of these groups like Top Soccer, whether it is just something else to support this community and do something in this community. And I think we need to champion them too, right? And so if you know some groups you've worked with and your experiences and your families and your communities, et cetera, I'd be curious to, to talk to you about that. I think they're also awesome partners that we can help and they can they can really support and you can just learn about it. It's amazing the programs that are out there, so I'd love to hear about that. The last thing I want to mention is uh, Kelly has others made this awesome thing to check in. If we have not scanned you, or, oh, Melin made it. Kelly's facility. Thank you, Melin. Um, but if we have not sort of checked in, just put your name and number and information, please, before you come see me, come see Kelly. Um, we are we are getting systematized, and we're going to get some other help as we start to get things together. Uh, we want to make sure we get you the right information at the right time, and 
I don't think we'll ask for your information again, but give us one more time, and I think this should sort of get us into a, the database. So make sure you, you get that for you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Does anybody have any other questions for anybody here before we close the meeting? Especially if it's your first time, we have some blue brochures over on the corner of the coffee shop that helps to describe our three pillars. Um, our website is amazing. I mean, and Kelly, she's a little OCD, I'll say. Like, she will work on it for hours on end, right? I know. And it's really amazing. I'm so sure so uh, attentive to it. It is amazing. So you'll learn all kinds of stuff on our website if you want to just learn a little bit more about what we're striving to do. And um, we are, we are going to reach this goal of the community. We will. I know we will. And just like we, this, I mean, you know, it, it takes all of our work and a whole lot of blessings. A whole lot of blessings from God. We have been, we have been tremendously blessed to make, um, Really, it's circle of friends. Yes. I just had a, a question regarding like outreach and um, reaching different people in the community. Are you guys currently doing any kind of like email blasts or interactive flyers and things like that? So we do email blasts. Kelly does that through um, Neon. So yeah. we have this, you might understand it. <laughs> I'm learning. So it's a um, custom. Final, CRS, final yeah. whatever, you know, okay. Yeah. Are you good with that? <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know what it stands for. I like to think that I am. Oh, really? Yeah. My coffee. Yeah, because <laughs> one thing, just kind of jumping back, what made me think of it was the QR code and the flyers that you guys have here is creating some kind of flyer that has a QR code that different patrons can scan where it can take you to leave a review, and that review could give you a reward for maybe a free cup of coffee or a sure. stamp on your ticket. That way you're giving somebody an incentive to come in that's not costing you anything or costing you very little, yeah. um, but opens the door for volunteers, opens doors for people to come in and meet people like them and experience that, um, which you can also do through email blasts. So have that same QR code or link just sent out to anyone and everyone. Nice. I, that is yeah, very yeah. Cool. Let's talk because there's, there's some, there are some good loyalty program apps too that I that. Yes, free. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> Yeah. Emma is my BFF. And she is, I'm not kidding, she works at Southern Sky Out Furniture Outlet, and that is an amazing store. And Emma has helped me a lot with, yeah, she's a young person, but she's my BFF for sure. <laughs> I'm going to add to that. I think that's a great idea, but maybe not everybody's on social media. Yeah. 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 Ye
and people think that I don't know what I can do. I can't go out and talk to people. Well, you know, put this on your car because somebody will ask you about that and say, what is that? And it gives you an opportunity to talk to them about that. So all these little things. You have that brochure with you and talk to them about what our goals are, what our objectives are, what the need is. And so just if you have that stuff, all of us can make a difference in the how we're going to be able to meet our goals this year. Wear your hat. Wear your hat. <laughs> yes. Wear your hat. Get your shirt. Get your coffee cup. Do all those Share things. every post. If you see a post on Facebook, like it, share it because it's like the old shampoo commercial. I tell two friends, they tell two friends, and that's how it keeps expanding. So share away. Yes. So, Dad, you have the bumper sticker on your car, don't you? I do. How many clients have you? How many clients have asked you about that bumper sticker? I've had a lot of people ask me about it. See, so I mean, seriously, it. it yeah. Get the bumper sticker. Well, I mean, <laughs> and, and shirts. I wear my shirt to church every week. Yeah. 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 Everybody behind me. Sees Our it. Easter outfit. Wear your shirt. Yeah. Well, again, we truly appreciate each and every one of you. Each and every one of you has contributed to the success that we've had this year. It's just been phenomenal. And uh, I just can't, can't thank you all enough. Yeah.